In this edition of Five Things, Five Useful Tips for Your RV, I'm going to cover certain publications that you may want to have, especially if you like to do projects in your RV and even if you want to do repair work. The first one is Ugly's Electrical References 2020 Edition. This kind of covers the topic of the National Electrical Code. And overall, it's okay, but I found a few things I don't like about it. Number one is that it just does not cover power factor very well, nor does it cover the differences between apparent power and true power in an AC condition. And also some of the wiring charts, such as the ampacity of conductors, only goes to 14 gauge, where it'd be nice if it went up to 24 gauge. But then again, the target audience of this is mostly electricians, so there's a lot of things like that that's not going to be covered. Overall, though, it's a good book, and it's not that expensive. The second book is called The Boat Owner's Guide to Corrosion. Okay, so the scope of this book is on boat owners, but a lot of things apply to RVs as well. For example, if you want to know why some water heaters have sacrificial anodes and others do not, or what the difference is between a zinc or aluminum or a magnesium anode, you can find that information in here. It's maybe a little more in-depth than most people would like to go through. However, it is probably the best reference I've ever seen on corrosion. The next book is the NFPA, the National Fire Protection Association, Standard on Recreational Vehicles, Standard 1192. And this is also adopted by the RVIA, the Recreational Vehicle Industry Association. In fact, that's where I bought this. It covers things like color codes for trailer wiring, and also propane plumbing is extensively covered in this. Your holding systems, I mean, it's just got a whole bunch of information in here. You're going to want to have something like this to know that you're doing it right. And the ANSI Riva Low Voltage Standard, and this talks about the DC systems. In here, you can see where I've highlighted a lot of it, and everything that I've highlighted in yellow in this pamphlet are potential issues that could affect your RV. And this last one, again, it is intended for boat owners. But RV sanitation systems are very similar, and so probably 50% of what's in here applies to RVs. And there is no book on RVs similar to this. And it's written by Peggy Hall, probably the most knowledgeable person in RV and boat sanitation systems. In fact, this particular one is autographed by her. If you want to know the difference between aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, or why your sewer system is stinking, or what tank treatments work better, this book has it all. I mean, it probably has more than what you really want to know about sanitation systems. There's also an NFPA standard 1194, which is a standard for recreational vehicle parks and campgrounds. And that is also a 2018 edition, and I avoided purchasing it because it's going to be replaced next year. And in the 2021 edition, unless it's removed, there will be a ban on the use of auto transformers in an RV park. And your honorable mention is the National Electrical Code. It is NFPA Standard 70. And Article 551 defines recreational vehicles and RV parks. So it's kind of some of the wording of 1192 and 1194 combined. And Article 551 actually already does ban auto transformers. So there you go. There's five documents, very useful in my view.